common questions about electric vehicles is, how does charging work? To answer that, let's talk about the basics of charging an EV at home, at work, and on the go. Unlike with gas-powered cars, EV drivers do most of their charging at home. You don't need special equipment to charge at home, just a standard electrical outlet and the charging cable that comes with your EV. This is level one charging. We recommend new EV drivers try level one charging for a few weeks to see if it meets their needs. If you need a faster charge, you can upgrade to level two charging. A level two charger can be installed at your home by a professional electrician. State and federal incentives are available for charger installation and PSE can recommend local electricians with charger installation experience. Charging at home will likely increase your electricity bill. However, that increase will almost certainly be offset by the money you save by not going to the gas station. Charging can be more difficult if you live in an apartment or condo. More and more apartments and condos are providing charging stations for their tenants. If your building doesn't have a charging station, you can ask your property manager about installing one. Workplaces offer a convenient place to charge, especially for EV drivers without access to charging where they live. Many workplaces currently offer level two charging stations, which can be great for topping off before or after your commute. Public charging stations are great for road trips or adding a bit of juice to get to your destination. But try not to think of them as gas stations for EVs. Remember, the majority of EV charging is done at home. Websites and apps can help you find the nearest public charging station. You might even be surprised how many stations are nearby. These maps can also help you plan charging stops on road trips. Public charging stations offer level two charging or DC fast charging. This third type of charger plugs directly into the electricity grid and can look a lot like a gas pump. Public charging stations are operated by various companies and agencies, often with their own app used for payment. Some stations have card readers or will allow you to pay by card over the phone. Keep in mind, most EV models will be able to use most public stations. A notable exception is Tesla vehicles, which will need an adapter to use a non-Tesla station. Finally, whether payment is by time or kilowatt used, the cost to charge at a public station can be higher than charging at home. In addition to convenience, that's one more reason to do most of your charging at home or at work. As with any change in life, switching to an EV can take a little getting used to, but EV charging can be no big deal with a little planning. Thank <laughs> you.